What's up guys, it's Destiny back again with another video. So, y'all know I've been talking about doing my daggone plants for like the past couple of videos, right? So, I emptied out the containers that had my mums. They're mums plants and they're seasonal. Oh, I never even realized that this is smaller than the other. Y'all can't see. I never noticed that. Um, so I have two big ones, one little one, and then two small ones. And these are the flowers that I'm going to, don't look at my little recycling bin. These are going to go in the small ones, obviously. And then these three are going to go in the three bigger ones. And that's my potting soil. Um, because you know it's spring and you want to freshen up how you're plants but especially these were dead like dry like you could break it they're so dry it's ridiculous if you hear any music I don't own the rights to none of that shit um I'm just out here wanting to do my little plants and so I'm still trying to get like a schedule <sighs> my son says that I should post videos twice a week at least um, so I pick the days of Mondays and Fridays so it's like I have content for this coming Friday but the content that I was gonna post for Monday I wasn't so sure if I was gonna post it I wasn't sure if I was ready I'll say that because um, I was speaking on a topic of abuse and sharing my experience um, that I went through and I don't know if I was ready to share that or not um, I don't even know if I'm ready to share that that's what I was gonna do the video on anyway but so I wanted to do um, another video and show y'all how I'm doing my little plants or whatever um, I'm gonna do the small ones first so let's see what I can tackle first um, and so in this video, I wanted to talk about something that came up um, just in conversation with one of my neighbors. She um, is an older lady, like she is my elder. I have so much respect for her, I love her. Um, and she just called me and was just, you know, chatting with me and because she's living alone and you know, it's me and my kids so she was just saying like you need a man I need a man my daughter needs a man and so I <laughs> went on Facebook and was like my neighbor said I need a man and she ain't lying she's not <laughs> so I wanted to talk about um, relationships or trying to be in a relationship I don't know what you would really say um, because when I posted that you know you got some people that are like you know don't rush it'll come when it's supposed to and I totally get that nobody's rushing to be in a relationship but you know I hate when people tell single moms that like oh don't rush like do you I mean okay there are some women that may rush into relationships but like specifically me like if you're on my Facebook that means you know me and you know that I'm not one to rush to get or do anything um, so it's kind of aggravating when people are always like anytime a single mom mentions relationships or you know anything they're like well don't rush and take your time and da -da -da. nobody's rushing here okay I'm not old I'm very much young Hey baby, so don't ever get twisted. But as a single parent, you do get lonely. And it's not a like, oh, you can't keep your own company, honey. I've kept my own company and I continue to keep my own company very well for a very long time. But everybody desires, y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to see if I push y'all back. Honey, I'm pouring the dirt in the pot, okay? You you get the gist. But anyway, um, everybody.
everybody wants to have a companion. They want to have somebody that they can experience different things with. And I think, and this is what I honestly think, I think that when single moms mention being lonely or wanting a man, people automatically think sex. They're like, you already got kids, now you trying to have more. Nobody's, that's not, that's not on the top of the list for a lot of people, especially me. So I don't know why people try to insert their business into other people's business, honey. But um, no, nobody is trying to rush putting, what is this anyway? This is a marigold. Isn't it so cute? And they have here, here, and here. That's gonna bloom like that. It's gonna be cute. And these love the sun, so the front of my house gets a decent amount of sun. Um, we gonna see, honey. I just needed something. <laughs> I thought these were cute. And you want to be gentle on the roots. You see all that root? Is this gonna be deep enough? And then what I do is I kind of break up the dirt that is already in, so that roots can go freely and if the lighting changes because I have a sensor light or motion light you would say and of course Piper is barking so just breaking up the dirt here so that I can go into my new dirt um but yeah like I really hate when people like talk negatively to single moms when they say that they want to start dating because nobody's dumb. Oh, I'm good. Nobody's going to for a little bit, yeah. Is this gonna be right? Lord. Maybe I should move the dirt around a little bit more. Um, nobody's gonna put themselves or their children in danger, at least I don't. Um, I don't play that when it comes to my kids. Like, everything will stop before my kids are in danger or we're in an uncomfortable situation. Um, that's not suitable for us, so that's not something that should be concerned. Um, but I will say, as a single mom, and I guess maybe it's just me, because me, like, it's hard to meet people. Like, I've tried the apps, you know, to meet people and stuff, and then you just get mad weirdos and crazy people. And you might get decent people, I guess, but it's like, you gotta go through so much to try to get to the decent people. And then it's like, for me, I don't really, now I'm just putting dirt around it. You see? To keep it still. I don't really go many places to meet people. And like when I'm out sometimes, I'll see people like checking me out or whatever. But it's like I'm with my kids and I'm sure they feel uncomfortable. And I would probably feel uncomfortable too if they approach me. I guess depending on the way in which they would. Um, that, ha that plays a factor too. Like if you're cool about it, okay, cool. But if you're like disrespectful and rude, now I gotta cuss you out in front of my kids. That's not the goal. It's not what we wanna do. But we will if we need to. <laughs> not, I'm never shy or afraid to, you know, say what needs to be said to somebody if they coming at me crazy. But I don't know. And then it's like, you get guys that show interest and this that and the other but then they're not consistent so it's like you think I'm gonna chase you like I'm already chasing two kids and two dogs you think I'm gonna chase you down to see what you're doing or when you want to hang out that don't work for me see our little baby we might name these I don't know and I'm gonna put water on them on the end um so it's like you want me to chase you down for a date nobody's desperate okay nobody's desperate we just want a companion we want 
a friendship that can blossom into something more. But nobody's desperate, baby. No one's gonna be chasing you down. Hey, I thought you said we we're gonna hang out. Hey, not me. Um, and I think sometimes guys kind of like that. They act like they don't, but they do. And it's like, I'm not gonna give you that. Um, so, I'm gonna tell you. And then like, this past weekend, their dad came um, to hang out with us for a little bit, right? And of course, he want to say all this. Oh, da, 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 da. No, sir. <laughs> we no. Every time we break up, you go get somebody pregnant. I don't have time for that. So there's, there's. I don't know what to say. And I don't even know if I should have said that. Maybe that was shade because I'm trying to be at a point where him and I can be friends. And because anybody got time to be beefing with their baby daddy, I don't. I'm not trying to. I don't have no beef. I just don't do disrespect. But, um, I don't know, honey. Like, and I know everybody who watched me isn't a mom, isn't a woman isn't single whatever but they speed down this street and I do not understand why because it ain't nothing but kids over here it's mad kids that be in the street riding their bike and these cars just come through speeding it's ridiculous um what I was about to say child yeah like I said I know everyone that watches me is not a mom or is not a woman or is not single but like when you were how was it and I know like please I know that everything happens in due time when it's supposed to and as I had to tell the people on my Facebook nobody's rushing into a relationship um, that's that's not what we do when we have children honey <sighs> so I hope I don't dump this dirt everywhere. See why I need a man? Who's gonna be doing this? Getting dirty. I'm joking. Okay. And these are Delilah's just hit myself in the face with it they're Delilah's you see how cute they are I thought they were so pretty y'all know or you should know my favorite color is like purple like the mauve like the color of this like a rose gold mauve dusty rose type color that's my favorite color and so I'm doing the same thing breaking up the dirt and the roots this can go, honey. This is just extra dirt hanging off the root that they packed it in. And you want to keep some of it. Here I am giving tutorials. I'm a plant mom guru. Okay, so you want to clean the roots. <laughs> but seriously, you do. You don't want to keep all that old dirt, but you want to keep some. And then you have your new dirt in here. And that's what, you know, they need as well. This is a lot of dirt. Okay, so this is how deep they're going to sit. Can you see? Or do I want them deeper in there? And then back to, like, when you're meeting people. Like, especially people, like, online or whatever. Via whatever app or whatever. They don't really know you. So I come across people that expect an airplane going over. That expect so much of my time. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. Not only are we in a pandemic, regardless of how you feel about it or whatever, it's a pandemic out there. You feel me? 
So, am I gonna risk getting it for you? And you not even that cute and then you brushing me? Nah, ain't nobody doing that. So I do find a lot of times people are like, they'll meet you, like they'll hit you up on the app or whatever on like a Wednesday and then they want to meet you that weekend. No, no, you don't know enough about me to even know if you want to hang out with me. I'm not finna be set up. I seen all the movies. You're not finna get me. You feel me? Like, that's how I be thinking. I think that's, I don't know. I'm not too trusting of people. I don't trust nobody. Because I don't know what you about to do. What you trying to, what you think you going to do. That's what it is. I don't know what you think you going to do. So, I don't know. But I think I am at the point where I am going to put myself out there more in the sense of like maybe going to different places and meeting different people. I don't know. I don't really want to say too much because I don't know who be watching my videos. <laughs> and I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying. But um Okay, look at this one. What y'all think? I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put water when I'm done. I hope these things don't die. <sighs> Ciao. So, where do y'all? Are y'all married? How many minutes this been? Child, I got my glasses, still can't see right. I got two big old bags of this stuff. I guess my thing is like I'd rather have more than not have enough and have to go back to the store later and be pissed off that I gotta go back to the store. You see the roots? I didn't even research these plants, so I don't know how big this thing gonna get. But these roots are pretty long, you know? And then another thing with me being a boy mom, I'm very cautious of like, what I do and how I, um, see this one's gonna sit lower. Why? I'm very cautious of like the company that I keep and the people that I have around me because I have boys because you know what they see is an example to them be it how they treat a woman or how a woman's gonna treat them. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm very cautious as to who and what and how I allow in my space because they watching and I don't want I don't want no foolishness around me period because I'm not gonna put up with it but I don't want them to see no nonsense like that either I think this needs to sit up more it's giving short it's giving 5-3 <laughs> shout out to the 5-3 game cuz I'm 5-3 So I think this is gonna be better. I'm making a mess up on this porch, car porch, but it'll be all right. Just blow it off. Whew. And I will say like, the last dude that I dated, I did meet on Facebook. And everything was cool until he, you know what I'm saying? Like people, people show you who they want you to believe they are in the beginning. 
And so that's why for me it's very important that you take your time to get to know somebody. Build a for real friendship with somebody because when that person gets on your nerves and you're in a relationship with them, if you're not friends with them, if you can't come back and laugh at something later, like what is the point? And I think like that's where I'm at. I want to be able to be friends too. I don't want it to just be, oh, you cute, I'm cute. Let's be cute together. Let's go to dinner and be cute. No, there needs to be more. There needs to be a foundation. And I think a lot of that stuff is lacking. And like I was saying with the dude I dated, um, let me see. Like we kind of had a friendship too, but he was like very judgmental, very, he was a PK. Well, his mom was a pastor. So she was, he was in a little deeper. I'm a PK, my dad was a preacher. So I know how it is, you feel what I'm saying? But he was like so judgmental, so this and that. And then that came to be controlling. And then that showed up with some anger. And it's like, baby, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna deal with that, okay? And I didn't. And so we had to, um, we didn't have to, but I just, said this ain't gonna work for me and be done but the point is if we would have built a relationship or a friendship I should say if we would have built a friendship then I would have seen oh this get mad he gets angry he wants to ball up his fist get in your face he wants to threaten to flip tables over like he wants to get crazy like if I would have formed a better friendship I would have seen that sooner Possibly you feel what I'm saying. So that's why when people meet me and they're like, oh, so what are you looking for? And I'm not trying to rush into no relationship because I'm not trying to be on lifetime I'm not trying to be on the ID channel because you want to act crazy with me. You feel what I'm saying? So I Think that is what's more important and a lot of times people let you know up front That they not interested in that they're not here to build a friendship with you. They just want to get down to the get down and that be it. And you have to be able to be strong enough to be like, okay, this is not what I want. I'm going to walk away and wait until somebody can come up with what I want. You know what I'm saying? And that's patience. And I think you'll be better off when you do that. I know I will be. I don't, I don't have time. I'm raising two kids and two dogs. <laughs> My dogs are kids too and they are off the chain. So it's like, I ain't got time for no foolishness. You feel me? I'm trying to get this sticker off of here so I can remember the name of this plant. But it's not coming off. And these plants love sun too, just like the marigolds. And like I said, the front of my yard, it gets pretty sunny. Sometimes it don't, but for the most part it do. Come on now. All right, so um, I'll just stick that in the back so I can remember, honey. All right, one more to go. And like I said, I did not do any research on these plants. I just went to the store and I was like, y'all gonna think it's weird, but whatever plant speaks to me, I'm going to pick. <laughs> and I went around and I looked at all the different plants and there are some very beautiful plants, but I'm like, okay, these are really speaking to my spirit right now. I'm gonna get them. And I picked up a few, some didn't really feel right, some did, and I was like, all right, these are the ones that feel right, these are the ones I'm going to get, and we got them, baby, and now, look at all this dirt on me, that's okay, so, that's how I pick my plants. You got to be able to trust yourself when you're dealing with people regard regardless of who they are regardless of what capacity you're dealing with them you need to be able to trust your gut and it's something simple like that picking plants if you can't even trust your gut on what plants to pick how you gonna be able to trust your gut on what people to be around what man you know what I'm saying like you have to do that 
And I know some people will be like, that's real weird or that's whatever. That's fine for you. But for me, I have to trust myself. My spirit is going to speak to me and I'm going to have to follow. You feel what I'm saying? Even for simple things like plants. Picking out what plants I'm about to bring to my house. You feel what I'm saying? Like, stuff goes way deeper than what it is on the surface. And you have to be able to be patient and know yourself um, enough to be able to hear and listen and to feel and figure things out. You got to quiet the noise sometimes. Well, a lot of the times, quiet the noise around you so that you can hear you and you can hear what the spirit is speaking to you. You feel what I'm saying? Look at all them roots, baby. Whew. Let's see. I'm trying to see. I wanted to sit up a little bit taller than that. So yeah, when it comes to me and when it comes to people, I like to observe. I classify myself as an introvert. Um, so I observe and I feel people out and I feel things out for myself so that I could get a good feeling for it. I hope the lighting isn't too bad with this light behind me like that. But baby, I'm almost done. So if you sat through it this long, you'll be all right. So yeah, on the videos that I upload Monday, I kind of wanted to be like just a kind of like a sit down video or me doing something or showing something and like just talking through. And then the videos that I post on Fridays are going to be like vlog style of like what we did during that previous weekend or week, something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to get like a schedule because I'm trying to remain consistent um so that i can reach the goals that i'm trying to reach and also um like i don't know a lot of youtubers do youtube for a lot of different reasons but also for memories for myself and my children you feel what i'm saying and family that doesn't live near us and of course for people who can relate or find themselves in a similar situation or are interested in the life of a single mom. Why is it going out of focus? Child. I don't know why the focus was off. dirty all right so I'm going to put these plants um, in their spots and then give them some water because after you um you know repot new plants you have to give them some water and so when I do that I'm gonna show y'all and I'm gonna show y'all I ain't gonna show y'all the front of my house but I'm gonna show y'all um, how they look 